Hey there guys, welcome to my home studio again. In this video, I will go over a really cool feature of the Helix that most people are not aware of. It's the tone generator. So your Helix and I'm sure other modern guitar processors can produce sounds on their own without the guitar or the bass. And what are the, some of the possibilities with this feature? Some bands that are with this power trio configuration, like Rush, for example, they use a bunch of tricks where the synth may start playing over the solo, etc. So if you are in this sort of bare minimal configuration, the Helix allows you to program like an electric organ pad over your solo. It's really cool. In my example, in my band, one of the songs, we have uh, an extension. And during that extension, the, the singer uh, is not playing bass on that song at all. We have playback that provides the bass. But during the extension, it's sort of improvised, so it's impossible to coordinate the ending properly. So what I came up with is is the final note is this really loud synth bass that I simply invoke with a snapshot button. So like we go crazy, we have this extension and then the last chord has the bass and it's, it's like magic. Most people don't even probably realize how it's done, but I will share my secret. And in another preset that I will also show you, I came up with a way to have backing electric organ with the Leslie spinning up on certain, certain chords. It's really cool as well. So let's take a look at this first preset. All right, looking at HX edit, we have a block called three tone generator. So you can literally program the sound waves, the notes of your chord. And um, like I said, we have, I have here the snapshot called synth and when I press that, that's that synth note at the very end. So it's really cool, really easy, right? You, like I said, simply provide your notes and uh, you can put some effects after that. So that's that. So this is the second preset. This was the proof of concept for me to see if it's possible to have <laughs> actually different chords and stuff. So check this out. spinning up and uh, un uncertain chords. It's slow on the others. And uh, yeah, see, it's like literally I put um, text here for me to understand what kind of chords these are. Let's take a look. Let's take a look on the computer. Okay, so let's take a look here. All we're doing is again, the three tone three note generator, all of the notes are assigned to snapshots. That means that when I switch snapshots, I can program these notes to be different in snapshots. And that's how I'm changing the chords. So if we take a look at this C snapshot, see these are the notes. generation covered so to sound like uh, this electric organ this Hammond whatever I came up with the following trick I'm using a 12 string um, simulator like a 12 string electric guitar simulator that provides some octaves some 
some uh, extra kind of chorusing, I guess. Yeah. And here we have the rotary speaker and um, the slow to fast changes are assigned to snapshots. That means that in some snapshots it's fast and some of them it's slow. So let's take a look. So slow here in the C major snapshot in E7 simulated Leslie and uh, here are my parameters it's really really cool if you're like I said in this power trio configuration to be able to have this pad and people are gonna be like where's this noise coming from who's doing that where's the keyboard player so there you go I hope you find it useful and uh, I'm glad to be sharing my trade secrets with you till next time